What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to save a ton of time as you reroll forever in near reincarnation as I was doing for over 20 hours of my life. Uh, this saved, actually saved me a lot of time uh, and I hope it saves you some time too. I'm seeing a ton of videos out there with clickbaity titles and garbage thumbnails saying it's the ultimate reroll guide and you get somebody playing the game for 10 minutes telling you how to claim gems and hitting reroll then telling you to start all over again. That's not what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be using BlueStacks, which is running Android. If you're on iOS, don't worry. I use iOS as well. You can go ahead and link your account to your Square Enix or your Facebook and get your game on your iOS device. So uh, that's out of the way. Uh, once you have BlueStacks, you want to download the Near APK. Uh, so go ahead online and download that. You don't want to log into this. Uh, you don't want to log into the Google Play Store. You don't want to log into the device with any Google account whatsoever because... Uh, we're going to be cloning this instance uh, and we're going to be controlling multiple instances of the game from one instance and that's where the time saving comes in you're pretty much playing uh, as many instances of this game as you can as your pc can handle uh, while only playing one so uh, if you already know how to do that you could probably skip the video uh, that's pretty much what it's going to be about so i don't want to waste anyone's time here i also don't want to ramble and go too fast so uh, i'm going to try to make this as efficient as possible even though i don't know how to speak uh, so once you download blue stacks it's going to be running in 32-bit mode that's not going to work for near reincarnation uh, you're going to need to be running this in 64-bit mode. The way we're going to do that is on the sidebar here, which is what we're going to be focusing a lot in the video. You want to click on the multi-instance manager. I apologize if this stuff looks tiny. Uh, try to maximize the video. Uh, full screen it on, on, on a, the biggest monitor you can find. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm going to try to be uh, as thorough as I can be in explaining what to do. So click on multi instance manager or for short, you can uh, press control shift eight. Once that's open, you can close the main blue stacks window. Uh, it's going to open this multi instance manager here. You can ignore all of these instances I've already created because as you can see, I've created 173 instances, which means I've rolled a minimum of 173 times, but it was, it was actually way more than that because I'm going to show you how to do this without having to clone instances more than once which I wish I knew in the beginning. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, once I figured that out, things got a lot quicker. Uh, once you have this open, you want to click on new instance on the bottom right. You want to click fresh instance and change it from 32-bit to 64-bit mode. From here, you want to uh, you want to utilize the you know your PC as much as possible, so click on high for both. Uh, you could leave this on landscape. You want to set the resolution to the lowest possible and the DPI to the lowest possible as well. Uh, because like I mentioned, we're going to be running this game multiple times and the least resources each instance takes, the better. So go ahead and click on create once you have that. It's going to create a new instance. Uh, in my case, it's BlueStacks174. I'm going to rename this to demo for this demo. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and click on start on the right on that instance. It's going to go ahead and open the instance. And from here, we're going to load our APK. So let's give this a second to load up. Uh, it's going to give us a couple of ads here. There we go. So BlueStacks is loaded up. Uh, you want to load the near APK that you downloaded. So on the right sidebar here, click on install APK or press control shift B. Navigate to where your APK is downloaded and double click on it. From there, it's going to install the app. If you're getting an error, make sure you made a 64-bit uh, instance. So as you can see at the top, on the top bar, it says N64. Uh, that means it's a 64-bit instance. If you try to install on 32, it's not going to work. So uh, once that's created, you can actually close this instance. Go back into your multi-instance manager. And we are going to clone that instance that has near installed. So in our case, it's demo. You want to click on the clone instance icon here in the row. And all these settings should have stayed the same uh, as before. And you can create up to one, up to five instances at once. So uh, I was running eight instances of the game at once. I found that was a good balance for me, for my PC. Uh, while I was using it to do other things. So this is going to depend heavily on your system specs. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to run two instances. So 
it doesn't take up any resources uh if the microphone starts crackling i apologize when when things when my system stacks my my mic starts to crackle hopefully it doesn't happen in this video so i'm gonna keep it at two uh so you can select up to one to five go ahead and select however many you want to create and click on create i've already created them so i'm not going to do that and the instances i created are 172 and 173 here uh, so once your instances are created, uh, go ahead and highlight them here, check them off and click start at the top. Now you can create more than five. If you just go back to your original instance and click on clone instance again, you can, you can make as many as you want. It's just up to five at once. So, uh, from here, uh, it's going to open a ton of instances depending on how many you selected. Uh, and there's an actually nice little arrange icon on the bottom left of the instance manager that you can click. Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to, uh, align the instances and resize them nicely. Uh, since I only have two, it made them gigantic, uh, along the top of my, uh, of my display here. Uh, but when I was running eight, it actually made them into nice little small windows and it aligned them to the left. So I think it always aligns them to the left of your desktop. So from here, we want to link these instances together. This way you're not clicking around a ton of games, trying to mag micromanage each game like I was doing at first uh, and lose your, your mind completely. So uh, you wanna pay attention to the top of the, uh, the top bar of the instance. The one that has the highest number is the one that's gonna be used to control the rest. So uh, I have 172 on the left and I have 173 on the right. Alternatively, you could probably just go into your instance manager if you rename them and choose the, the lowest, you know, the one that's lowest on the list here. So from here, you want to focus on the right sidebar of that window and click on sync operations or press control shift nine. Uh, you're going to see your other instances here. If you don't see all of your other instances, you clicked on the wrong one. So if I go to the left one here, 172 and click sync, uh, it's going to make a complete liar out of me. <laughs> And it's going to see 173. So there were a couple of instances of this, probably not the right word to use, a, prob a couple of cases of this uh, where one instance didn't see any of the others or some instances were seeing only some of the others. Uh, I found that choosing the highest numbered instance worked. Just try different instances until you have one that can see them all and you know select one that you want to use to control all of them. So in this case, it's 172. Click start sync. And now anything I do in the right, uh, instance here is going to happen in the left. So you can imagine if you have eight of these running, uh, you only need to, uh, work in one of them to, to control all of them. So you're, you're pulling as many instances as you can run at once, which is nice. If anything gets out of sync, you can still click on the other instances. So I can still play this game on its own. Uh, there's a little pause button at the top here of the one that you're syncing from. So you could pause the sync operation. You could stop it completely. Uh, so, you know, there are things like that. You're going to find if you're running, the more instances you run, the more janky you could get. Uh, like I said, I was okay with eight. Uh, if something gets out of sync, you can always, you know, catch it up on its own instance. So you can see here, it's not synced because I'm using this one, but once I go back to this, everything is synced and I'm playing multiple games at once. I'm hitting roll and I'm not ro only rolling on one game. I'm rolling on as many games as I can possibly run. So, uh, I'm going to get into some near specific stuff real quick. And then I'm going to show you how to reset this, uh, in the fastest way possible to get back into the game. If you don't get the role that you want. Uh, so for near click on the gift box on the top, right? You want to claim, everything. So click on take all. And this is where that ultimate guide comes in guys. So I want to show you how to claim all your gems and, uh, you know, click on roll. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's it. Another tip, uh, that's near, uh, specific is you can click on this ghost here. Mama looks like a ghost a hundred times. And if you decide to proceed to chapter two, you could get another 3000 gems, which is just enough for another temple. So we're going to click on the menu on the bottom right there. Click yes, because Mama doesn't want us to access this menu yet, but we want to. Uh, once you're in the menu, you're going to get this pop up here. Not everything is accessible yet, so keep that in mind, but summons is, so that's what we need. Click on summons on the right. And we have enough gems 
for one ten pole and five single poles. So what I like to do is I like to click on the ten pole. And uh, click on skip on the top right. I'm going to click on skip. You can click on the door and go through each one. It'll also show you like the rarity right off the bat. So this is nice. We got a 2B on the left here. And that's a four star. It's the highest level. It's the best 2B we can get. As far as I know. Otherwise, I spent 20 hours re-rolling for no reason. And I'm clicking on the left here. I, I can't click on the right. Uh, but if I click on any of these icons, it's going to open them. You can click in the empty space. But I clicked on the left there. Uh, that's why I did that. So we got 2B. At this point, it's nice that we got a 2B because at this point, what I would personally do is I would, cl I would click on return and I would roll my five for free. Now, if you don't want to do that, uh, if you want to do another temple instead, you can, you can play until chapter two. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Uh, what's nice is this game has an autoplay. So if I click auto, I'm just going to keep going to chapter two. There's going to be some dialogue that you need to skip through and a couple of battles you need to do, but that takes about 10 minutes. So once I click on Mama, Mama 3, uh, 100 times here, get to chapter 2, and we get 3,000 gems for another temple. And at that point, you'll almost have enough, or you will have enough for a second temple. So that's two additional temples you could do. Uh, I was going for two near Automata characters in the first pull, so I pretty much did these five pulls after my temple. And if I didn't get them... I started over. That could have been a mess up on my part. Maybe playing to chapter two is better. Uh, you know, maybe do it for if you get your first character that you want and and try that. But, uh, you know, everyone's going to have their own perception of what the best thing to do is. Uh, so that's that. Uh, from here, I would do I would do my five pulls uh, or get to chapter two, whatever you want to do. If that doesn't work uh, and these these instances are all chalked, uh, you could want to click on the home button on the bottom right of the master instance. That's going to take you to your home screen. From there, you want to click on system apps, click on settings, click on storage apps near is going to pop up at the top. Uh, and then click on clear data. That's going to wipe your near game and you'll be able to start over from the beginning. Uh, and this whole process probably takes about 10 minutes to get from here to the actual pull because you have to get through these. The most tedious part is these splash screens, you know, clicking that you're tap to start, then accept this, I'm 16, uh, privacy here, ad tracking, you know, the loading, the install, uh, which is about 160 megs or something, 183 megs, I don't know what it is, or 64 to start with. Yeah, 64, and then another hundred something. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Hopefully I didn't. And hopefully that helps you out. Like I said, run as many of these as you can. Uh, this way you can maximize your chances of getting what you want. And, you know, something nice to do is you can open your, uh, your task manager here. You can see how many, you know, how much resources each blue stacks is using. So when the game's actually running, I found it took about 10% of my 9,900 K, uh, GPU. I got 3080 TI running is it's been fine. Uh, the bottleneck was the CPU and the memory. So I got 32 gigs of memory and a 9,900 K. Uh, these actually bottlenecked with blue stacks. I think it was the memory. Actually, once I got to eight or 10, my memory was like, yo, what are you doing? And then like I mentioned about 10% per blue stacks for a 9,900 K. Uh, so, you know, I did eight, left another 20% CPU to use the computer as I was pulling. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'm probably not going to put any clickbaity title or thumbnail. I never do that crap. So hopefully somebody discovers this and it helps you out. Uh, if it does, let me know, uh, if you got the pull you wanted, I never do. Hey, let me know in the comments, you know, this or that. Uh, but I'm genuinely interested to see how many pulls it took you to get what you wanted and what you ended up getting. Cause it took me, like I mentioned over 24 hours of eight instances. So yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.